Hey, hello there. Uh, it is time for, I need a name for this video. Hardcore weather, I don't know, but we'll talk about the weather. Uh, real quick, uh, if you're new to this uh, YouTube uh, channel, which you probably are because the channel is new, the whole purpose of this is going to be for weather kind of education. It's not necessarily going to focus in on the details of what this storm is going to do. Maybe sometimes I'll do that. But I'm really hoping my audiences are, are folks that are kind of interested in weather, maybe don't understand a whole lot of it, but wish they would have become a meteorologist. Well, hopefully this page will help. So what we're going to do today is look at our upcoming weather here in North Texas, look at the jet stream, look at a couple of different models as to what may happen in the future and why. So let's get started here. Um, I'm going to start with, this is uh, the European model from Wednesday evening. All right. So by the time you're watching this, this model data is actually going to be a little bit uh, dated, but that's OK. Let's look at the jet stream uh, again. Jet stream. We're up at about 18,000 feet and uh, the brighter the colors show the uh, the heights of the jet stream. All right. The, the 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 level of the atmosphere where a lot of this wind is. And like I said, we're up about 18,000 feet. General broad trough over the U.S. Now, did you get any snow last night? Did you? I did. Look at this. Okay, so we got this little, little uh, what we call a short wave, little dip in the jet stream that was just enough to generate lift, and see how it skirted across North Texas. I got I got two minutes worth of snow last night. All right, so that moves on out. We have another little dip here, another trough coming in. Uh oh, does that mean more snow? No, atmosphere is too dry. Besides this one is diving a little farther to the south. Now, there could be some rain tomorrow across South Texas, but our atmosphere is going to be too dry. Plus, at the surface, okay, these colors represent the jet stream, but these lines, this is what the surface weather map looks like. So we've got high pressure and control. That means sinking air. All the rising air is uh, on the east side of a trough. So we're going to have a nice day tomorrow and a nice day uh, a nice weekend. In fact, as we go into the weekend, a couple of things I want to point out. This is, uh, let's go into Saturday morning. We're Saturday morning. So we got this big trough, all right? This is helping to generate a snowstorm uh, off the East Coast. And a lot of folks along the East Coast are pulling their hair out because they want this low closer so there's a better chance for heavy snow. But the European, at least the operational run, as opposed to the ensembles, and that's a story for another day, uh, keep this pretty far off the coast. New England still may get slammed. I think it's going to be a big wind producer, some coastal flooding, things of that nature. And it's still early. These models fluctuate. They can be a little bit east, and then the next run, six hours later, they can come back and be a little farther to the west. So this deep trough supports a big old nor'easter, right? At the same time, we've got a big ridge of high pressure. That is fairly tranquil weather. Typically under a ridge, you've got sinking motion, and that's what we will have this weekend. So Saturday and Sunday look pretty nice. Now we're going forward in time. Look at this little guy. What this, what's this guy doing out here? This is an upper level low pressure system, a weak one. And now what's going to happen? Watch as it progresses east. It's going to get absorbed by the main jet stream flow as we get into Sunday. Now on Monday, it's going to be crossing Texas. And that is why I have a chance of showers in the forecast on Monday. All right, that little blip right there. Okay, so now we go through time. By Tuesday, it's weakened. It's, it's, you still see a little reflection of it, but for the most part, it's gone, and it's east of Texas. So Tuesday looks dry, and then we've got another trough coming in to the west. Another trough, and that is going to be progressive and make its way into Texas. Now, this could cause some monkey business for us, especially later Wednesday into Thursday. By monkey business, I mean rain, maybe some thunderstorms, and maybe if there's enough cold air, we could see a winter mix Wednesday night, Thursday morning. I don't know. We'll see. But you get the idea. Broad trough coming in. Where's the rising motion? It's on the east side of the trough. Where do you see the little areas of low pressure? Right here. And that is going to support a cold front moving through. So that trough next week right there, that's the big one we're going to be watching just because it will bring some sort of weather to the area. Okay, so that's the upper level features. Let's look at the surface features, all right? So this is a, the surface weather map. 
Right now, high pressure in control of our weather, so we should have pretty quiet weather. Let's go forward in time. Okay, remember that little first little trough of low pressure, that uh, short wave uh, that's going to dig through here on Friday. That could generate some some rain across South Texas. Maybe European is showing a little little snow out in uh, the southwestern portion of the state. Okay, so that moves on to the east. Here's our developing storm system, perhaps nor'easter, uh, a little too far east for, for folks in the, in the east, but this is, like I said, can change. Uh, over the weekend, that's the dominant feature, really wraps up, like I said, I think New England, especially uh, outer areas, will get to slammed. If this comes a little farther to the, yeah, to the west, more coastal sections will get hit harder. But our weekend looks pretty quiet. That's uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, there's Sunday, not much happening. Okay, remember our other trough coming in from the west. Remember that? Let's find that. Where is that? That's gonna be, that's gonna be this thing right here. All right, now watch as that progresses across our area on Monday, you see these showers breaking out. So why does that happen? Well, that area of low pressure, let's bring it up to Sunday, that uh, little trough in the jet stream initiates rising motion. The key to all weather is whether the air is rising or sinking. Always remember that. That is the key most of the time to uh, all weather, okay? Rising motion, precip, sinking motion, drying out, sunshine. Okay, now we're into Tuesday, not much happening, and then now we start to see the impacts of that bigger trough on the central U.S. You got snow breaking out, you've got colder air coming in. Look at this, a 1050 high. That's very strong. That's very high pressure. That's got some cold air with it that is going to dive to the south. You've got upslope precipitation. That's where the, the air is coming in from the, from the east, the northeast or the southeast. It's hitting the mountains and it's rising, so you've got snow breaking out. Uh, Denver gets their best snow when when the air pressure is rising because of the or orographic effects. So that's uh, Wednesday afternoon. We get the uh, rain breaking out, colder to the north, so it's mixed precip and then eventually snow. And then as that trough progresses in, you know, we get a window late Wednesday night, early Thursday, where we could see some mixed precip. All right. So that is early Thursday. Real quick. Let's just look and see what the American model, the GFS, has to show about the same time. So this is Wednesday. It's got the rain breaking out, little mixed precip, even Wednesday afternoon. And then it quickly moves on out. You've got your main area of low pressure here over Kentucky. Snowstorm from, you know, St. Louis, maybe Springfield, St. Louis up to Chicago, mixed precip. So this will be something interesting and fun to watch. Uh, I'm not saying that we're going to have, you know, I see the memes and, oh, we're going to have snowmageddon and all that stuff. No, we're not, we're not necessarily going to do that. That's not the point of this YouTube channel. It's to kind of get you into how meteorologists use the computer models and other things. I'm going to try to come up with uh, educational videos for you. So if you like this, uh, I guess I got to do the deal where I say, hey, will you, will you follow me? Will you subscribe? And will you share it? I guess. I guess that's what they do. I don't know. Maybe you got a grandson that's into weather. He can watch this or she can watch this. Uh, whatever you want to do. So that's it for now. I'll try to have uh, more content as we go forward. I appreciate you watching. Take care. Let's get on with our day. Okay? All right. See ya.